What is up everybody here for another episode of Bob Cooper. Last week we made this wonderful paper mache, oh, paper mache hot air balloon. The bottom I took off because I wanted to be able to put it up here. But this week we are going to do some amazing stuff. We're going to make an origami swan, a, you know, like the white bird that goes in the lakes, an origami swan. And if we're lucky, maybe the wings can flap. All right, so what you're gonna need today, very simple, is just a piece of paper. Piece of paper. I just have a piece of white copy paper because I took it from my dad. So what you're gonna do first, this is, it's super easy, super simple, anyone can do it. I wanna teach you guys some origami. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take it and you're gonna make it into a square. All right, so what you're gonna do to make your square is you're gonna take your paper, and I've already folded it so I can show you but you're gonna take this corner and you're gonna fold it up, making this kind of triangle looking shape here. Can you see that? You fold it up, triangle shape. All right, first fold. Then you're gonna take this top up here and you're gonna fold it down, all right? All right, you see what I did there? It went from here, you fold it in, fold it in, fold it in, turn it around, fold this down, so now we've got one of these looking things. You're gonna really crease it. Use your nail. If you don't got a nail, you can use a pencil or something to really crease that sucker. And so now you've got two folds. You've got this horizontal one and this vertical one up top. You get that nice and nice. And what you can do is you either can take scissors and cut along this line right here, or a little insider trick to the origami world is you just can lick it. It's gross but it gets the job done. You fold it over. And then you take it, you just rip it off real gentle. I'm gonna do it on the table. But off real gentle, boom. Now you've got a perfect square that's got one of the folds in it. So after you get your square cut out, let's reinforce that crease on the back. So we're gonna Creasy crease it. Now you've got a triangle. I don't know what is this isosceles triangle? Because these ones are the same. Doesn't matter. I don't like geometry. So we've got one crease. Now we're gonna turn it and do another horizontal fold. All right. We've got our other horizontal fold right there. So now there should be two folds on your paper. You should have this one and this one. All right. Now we're just gonna fold it in half. Take the edges, we're just gonna whoop, boom, right there. Line up the corners, fold a little bit right there. This side, line it up. Middle. I like to lay it down on the table so I can get a nice fold. There we go. Nice fold, so look, see, boom. You open it up, nice hot dog style or hamburger style. It's a square, so there isn't really a hot dog or hamburger style. But you've got three folds so far. You've got your middle one, you got diagonal fold number one, diagonal fold number two. Now let's get another horizontal fold in there. Same thing. Instead of folding it this way, we're gonna turn it and now fold it this way. All right. Nickelodeon. Bow. All right, liking what's happening. Kerchow. Make sure you line up the edges real nice. All right, so now we've got four folds. We've got our horizontal fold, other horizontal fold, then we've got our two diagonal folds. All right, this next step is very important. Very important. We're gonna isolate one of these little squares. See these little squares here? We're gonna isolate that square. So what we're gonna do, so we're gonna, let's do this one. So we're gonna fold this end in. See what, see what I'm doing there? We're folding it in. Then we're gonna come over to the other side over here and fold that end in. So now what we're looking at is a single square. We have isolated this singular square right here. So 
what you should see when you look at it from the back. We got it from the front. It's got this little little thing going on here. All right. This is what you should be looking at. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold it down here with this hand. See what I'm doing? Got the square on this side. The the whatever you want to call the, this on this side. We're gonna take it and we're just gonna kind of fold it in. Boom, boom. Now we have our little squares. Now when you look at it, you can open it up and it'll have these four little little angles to it, these little sides to it. And each one will look just like the same. And then on the inside, that's what your paper is. See that? Boom. Alright, so now we've got our little doohickey, our little square here with all of our flaps and folds. We're going to take in the fold side, the flap here. We're going to take it, we're going to fold it in, match it up, fold it in. And you got one of these. So it's this side, we'll do the same thing. We'll just turn it and we're gonna fold it in. And it'll look like that. All right, I'm gonna do that. I'll show you in a second. So when it used to look like this, we taken the sides and we folded them in just like this. And so you can see that we folded them in right here. It looks kind of like a kite. Is that a kite? So it looks like a kite. We're gonna do the same thing to the other side. All right, so now we've got the same thing on both sides where we've got our two folds going in. You fold them in, take it, fold it in. So we've got a kite looking object on both sides. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this top little triangle and fold it down to match up with our little flaps that we folded in. See that it went from up here, and we folded it in over the flaps. All right, now we're gonna fold it the other direction, same way. All right, so now it's folded this way and this way. This is where it gets crucial. Pay close attention. You open up the flaps. We just folded these in, now we're gonna open them. I'm gonna go to the bottom here. I'm gonna lift up the flap. And it's gonna have this crease from where you folded the top down. We're gonna take that. Okay, we're gonna follow our creases. We're gonna fold our sides in. Alright, so it goes from it goes from here, you folded this down, folded this down, you open up the flaps. Go to the bottom, lift it up, come on, lift it up, fold the sides in, following your creases that you've already made, you don't need to make any new folds, in, and boom. All right, let's show you again on the other side. So we just folded this down, folded this down, we're going to come here, we're going to open up the creases. Go to the bottom, we're gonna lift it up. If I can get it, there we go. We're gonna lift it up. Okay. Huh. And just bring the edges in. You've already made the folds for these, so they should go in pretty easily. There we go. All right, so now, We've got this little middle triangle, little middle triangle, and on the sides you've got these flaps. It's gonna be our wings. And then you've got these two like things. It looks like Patrick Star if he didn't have arms. Uh, okay, so now I'm gonna come over to the side. The legs are on the bottom. You open up this. This should be able to open up. And you take one of the little leg things, you fold it up like that. And then you can choose wherever you want your angle to be. I'm going to choose right about there. Boom. Same thing on the other side. Open up the little flap here. Boom. 
Now we are almost there. Take one of the edges over here. I'm gonna open up in the middle. Hold it down. You've got the little head. Boom! We've made our wonderful origami swan. Now let's see, see how beautiful this baby flies. I'm gonna take the wings. I'm just gonna kind of round them off. I'm gonna round them so they kind of face forward. I'm not really folding. I'm just kind of twisting the paper to where it rounds like this. See that? Rounds. I'm gonna grab it at the front, at the front little feet things. See that right at the point? And then I'm gonna grab the tail back here, and I'm just gonna pull the tail. Now it might need a little finagling to look right, but I just pull the tail backwards out this way. So let's see what it looks like. Oh, need a little finagling. Hold on. Hold the phone. Boom! Look at it flying away. All right, guys, that is your little uh, paper origami swan with flapping wings. Little wings flap. Look at that little guy go. But just for you, I not only made a big one, but you can make them in different sizes. You can make a littler one. Look at the little wings flap. You can make one even smaller than that. Oh my gosh. And then finally, you can make one even smaller than that. Guys, thanks so much for watching Bob Cooper this week. Tune in next week for something so special.